Basically the same stuff, like play basketball, go to class, take care of my dog, and keep life simple, bro. If there was any, like, you know, was there any intimidation, I would say, or any, you know, were you a bit anxious coming here? Like, you know, was it like... I know, I know what you're saying. Um, I think, you know, in this business, like, I don't know, none of y'all, y'all up here asking me a bunch of questions. I could, I'm, there's a little natural uh, nervousness, anxiousness to everything, but I'm fairly confident in the work that I've put in over the years to kind of rely back on in, in moments like that. So I don't really get nervous like that. Uh, this is what, like, I really do this, like. Bouncing off that question, what's, what's the biggest intimidation factor that you've had to overcome? making this transition to a program like that. It would definitely be something within myself, like questioning myself, like everybody does it naturally, but I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty, I've had a lot of external factors try to like take my blessings away from me. So rather than me focusing on those things, I just make sure I'm handling my business within myself so that I can handle any situation I need rather than worried about what's around me. I know you've been asked this question probably you know, dozens of times, but why do you could have went to any school you wanted to? Why do? Yeah, um, and I keep saying uh, it's really the the coaches because at this level, anybody can. If we were to go play pickup with two random Division One college teams, it, it's almost fifty fifty. But there's a lot of a lot of smaller things like Duke's culture is. Duke wins not just because they get good players, but because of the culture and the relationships that they built. And that was the, really the biggest thing I felt from the coaches was like, wow, they actually are trying to get to know me. They care about me. Like they see me as a person rather than a, a horse that they can run till it's till it got no more run in it, you know. So based off that, I knew I would be in good hands here, and everything else would take care of itself. Speaking specifically of Shai, why is he the right man to, to bring this amount of talent together? The expectations are going to be every single year. Why is he the right man to take over the game and keep this program and keep it at that same position? You know, on, our, on my visit, I actually asked him a question kind of like that, just to see, because we had these wrote me this little thing that said come to breakfast with like all the awkward questions like we don't hash this out um i want i like that um two i asked him and he was i said something i can't really share the full thing because it's a personal conversation private conversation but since it was like bro i'm here to win and what's your agenda are you what's, what's your agenda here and he was like Dude, I have the most pressure on me in the world to to be like Coach K, you know, like in the in the eyes of the people. So I'm not worried about n no narratives. I'm not worried about this is a freshman only kind of university. I, I asked him, I was like, you don't take grad transfers a lot. Why me? So um, just his honesty was was very like settling. And then you know he's in an environment that's pretty hot, and everybody's in his grill, and you know he's celebrity sensation kind of stuff but he's pretty he's extremely calm and collected and i appreciated that about him being in the at the you know the pinnacle school he's the he's the el jefe now and he's still he's calm and collected and that kind of passes down to all of us like we're all, we're all right bro we just need to go out here and play what was his response to 